hate when I'm talking and I forget to press record. It's the most annoying thing on the planet. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. We're here with Team Mom Family Reunion, and I am, I'm coming up the mountain, but not in a good way. Okay, I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain because I'm ready to be done with this damn show. But anyway, I will be having other shows. I'm thinking about reviewing 1,000 Pound Sisters. But yeah, I do watch that. Yes, I do watch that show. Thank you very much. And um, there's some other things that I will be reviewing, like the show Unsung. And I, I just have to do those shows because it's what keeps me sane. Married at First Sight came on yesterday, so I got to talk about that. But until I get to the fun stuff, okay, let's drag my... The only reason why I'm dragging my feet with this is because I want this to be over, okay? I didn't sing Keisha Cole last week. Anyway, let's get started. We're on episode number seven. I really don't care what it's called. <laughs> let's just go. The ladies that had COVID last week, they still have COVID. Sean and Zach are also still there. I didn't realize that this was Team Mom Family Reunion and our men. I could deal with Tyler because I like Tyler. I don't, I don't dislike Zach. Then I really can't stand Sean. He's annoying. Now they're going to clean the house in hazmat suits. So Jade calls Christy, asks if they're going to let her come to the house. Now Christy has COVID. Caitlin and Tyler are having cabin fever. Tyler says he hates quarantine. I'm losing my mind. Kate losing her mind. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have got on camera because you could, I mean, I, I literally have a monotone. I have a monotone, but that y'all know that's just how I talk, right? Y'all know that when the microphone is proper, that's how I talk. Now, in a video I did when I got on camera, for some reason, the microphone sounds super freaking loud when I'm on camera. So hopefully, I'm hoping that it's not too loud right now. I mean, I should sound the same. I didn't change the microphone settings. I just simply turned the camera on. But I got to be on camera more for y'all because I noticed that I'm getting a little too comfortable being off camera. And then when I'm on camera, I don't know where to look. I don't know how to be. So here I am. Aya says that her mom, Tiffany, set up a coaching session with Coach B because she just wasn't, Aya just wasn't feeling in that day. Righty then though. Tiffany asks Kaya, how is she? And she says that she's not doing well. That, and she says her dad's birthday is the next day. If you can recall, her, 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 almost said her pops. Her dad passed away from a drug overdose and she has a lot of guilt behind him passing away and not spending time with him before he left. I hate when I'm talking and I forget to press record. It's the most annoying thing on the planet. We're here with Coach B, Kaya, and Tiffany. Coach B asks Kaya how is she processing her feelings about her dad's birthday tomorrow. Kaya says she just wants to get in bed and she doesn't want to talk about it. So Kaya, why are we here? Why, why are we here? I'm ready to go to the next scene. Why are you here if you do not want to talk? Anyway. Kaya says that regardless, she has to accept it. She has to deal with it. And Tiffany says that she doesn't know whether to bring it up when Kaya's having a good day or not. She doesn't want to make her day bad. Kaya says that her mom needs to stop walking on eggshells because she can't feel worse than she feels right now. Coach B, and I'm going by memory. I have notes, but I have notes, but I'm going by memory. Coach B says, is there a way that on your dad's birthday, we can make it about celebrating him and you know the notion of self-forgiveness coach b ends the session with you know i'm proud of you and that's it i mean that was the shortest coaching session i've ever seen tv i appreciate you so now cheyenne is delivering little get well cards to the covid victims the house macy says that jen wrote her back jen ryan ryan's mom for those of you who are new to this show and said unfortunately she will not be able to come to the reunion and be embarrassed i'm saying this and be embarrassed on national television for the second and third and fourth time i wouldn't come either why would i so kaya has decided to have a birthday party for her dad's birthday and everybody's celebrating and then her mom's birthday is in two days as well so this could be a combo birthday celebration Talking to Coach B made me realize maybe I should try to change the way that I remember my dad on his birthday and turn it into a positive thing. Everybody's set up for the party and there's two different cakes for the birthdays. Tiffany has no idea. Kaya's calling her and telling her to come over. 
Well, now Tiffany is coming to the house. Surprise. There's your surprise, girl. I thought it was so cute how she was all bashful. <laughs> so Tiffany says that, oops, where's my face? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So Tiffany says that the grandmas are leaving soon and this is a perfect way to end off their trip at the resort. So Tiffany says the fact that Kaya is celebrating her at a time where she's hurting made it so special. Well, Cheyenne, why you got to get deep at a birthday party? Come on, man. Anyway, Cheyenne asks Kaya, what are you going to take away from this experience? And Kaya, well, from Co she says, what are you going to take away from your, your coaching or whatever with Coach B? And Kaya says, not necessarily from Coach B, but she says that she's watched all the women be vulnerable and it's helped her to be more vulnerable herself. I'm really sorry to tell you, but that hoodie was too damn hot. Okay, it's warm today. It's like in the 60s here in New York City. Kaya says that the party really took her out of the funk that she was in. Quarantine pretty much sucks. And they're all alone. And a COVID conversation. Amber is no longer COVID positive. There's no point of you being here because you're boring. You need to go home. You should have been went home. So Amber says, come here, man. She wanted to give everybody a hug, but everybody's like, mm -mm literally just came out of quarantine. I don't know about that hug situation. Zach says, how about air hugs? <laughs> oh Lord, this show is so corny, but I get my laugh sometimes. So Macy's all, oh, I miss Amber so much. She's been going through a lot. She's been going through a lot of stuff she put herself through. Anyway. So now Amber, Macy, Cheyenne, Zach, and Sean. I didn't see Jade. Is Jade there? Anyway, they all went and uh, are doing a scavenger hunt. I thought you guys were going ATV riding. Anyway, they're doing the scavenger hunts in the ATVs. So on the way back from the scavenger hunt slash ATV riding or whatever, Amber, Kaya, whoever the hell else was in that ATV got lost in the woods. If y'all were really lost, y'all wouldn't have made it back to camp. TV, just, just kill the show, please. Macy and Amber have a heart to heart about the kids and how they're close to being the age they were when they had them. And Macy's talking about Jen and Larry again. Lord, what did I do to deserve this torture? I'm nothing but a good person. Why do I have to watch a Coach B coaching session with Amber? Your mama's not even there. Your mama's not even there. I'm fighting temptation to raise my voice because this microphone is right up my, right up my nose. Right up my nose. Amber is here with Coach B and She's telling Coach B that things have been very traumatic for her over the years. Her relationship with Leah was very dusty at first. And then as she started coming over to Gary and Christina's house more. Yeah, I did forget. When she started coming over to their house more, their relationship got closer. Then the situation with James being taken away from her. And I always have notes and I'm never reading them. I don't understand. So Coach B has this exercise with a bowl, dirt and seeds. Amber is going to put the seeds, seeds being Leah and James, in the dirt, water them. And as she's putting the seeds in there, she's talking and saying what she's going to do. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. I am not a heartless person. I feel she's sobbing, literally. You now, sometimes these captions say, sometimes these captions say the person's sobbing. And when I'm looking at them, I see crocodile tears. She's really sobbing and she's really crying. And I, for, sorry, I'm not heartless. But I felt really bad. Like, I feel really bad. Yeah, we do things and we cause a lot of things. None of us are perfect. That's where the human side of me comes out to say, okay, I'm a human being. I make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. The sad reality is realizing that the mistakes that you've made cannot just be wiped away with an I'm sorry. Sometimes the mistakes you make damage relationships. And Amber is realizing that here. And all of the grandmas are leaving, going back home today. I am looking crazy, but get over it. I'm not always going to look great when I get on camera, damn it. So, Macy decides to call Gary because she wants to do something special for Amber because Amber's been going through it. Macy's trying to set it up so that Gary and Leah can come to the reunion for a day. So Gary responds by saying that Leah's really not comfortable fully yet and he doesn't know if he can. And then we get this to be freaking continued. Y'all always trying to trying to make it dramatic when it ain't dramatic MTV. Get on my nerves. I'm going to uh, 
Thank you for staying with me on this video. It was a doozy because it's getting harder and harder to review this show. Just to let you know, some of you, you're asking, why are you still reviewing if you don't like it? Because I've already started the entire season. It doesn't make sense to review 20 episodes, or 10 episodes, or five episodes and just stop in the middle and just don't continue. So that's why I'm continuing. I'm pressing forward. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.